This would be the first time in several years, Mark Matson, that Microsoft uh, would see a real, or in a row, that Microsoft sees this type of slippage. You're the founder and CEO of Matson Money, you putting, putting it into an M, Microsoft? <laughs> well, you know, I think there's a larger story here with what's going on with Microsoft. You know, last calendar year, Microsoft lost 28% of its value. And we put that in context with other technology companies. Uh, you've got Facebook down, uh, which is now going by Meta, of course, 64%. You've got Google down 40%. And you've got Amazon down 50%. Uh, my message to investors is don't make the same mistakes you made last year, which was largely really uh, overweighting towards large tech stocks in the S&P 500, which were down 30% last year. It's a hurting bias. Everybody wants to do it. They think there's safety in numbers. But Liz, as you and I both know, there is no safety in numbers. So lay off the tech stocks and focus on broadly diversifying your portfolio. Okay, where are you going overweight? You've got 8.8 .8 billion in assets under management at the moment. What are you going whole hog into at this point? You know, investors need to focus on uh, eliminating several things they did last year. Number okay. one, lay off the hot allocation to tech stocks. Number two, lay off of Bitcoin. It's nothing but a scam. Uh, there's nothing there. It's all, all based on P.T. Barnum, who said there's a sucker born every minute. There are no stocks there. There's no equity. There's no bonds. Instead, what you want to do is, for the fixed income part of your portfolio, you want high-quality, short-term fixed income. So if interest rates do go up and inflation continues to rise, then you are going to have safety in your fixed income. But you got to diversify into small stocks in the United States. you got to diversify into small value stocks. And you have to go international, and you have to diversify emerging markets very, very few investors really, truly diversify their portfolio. They get sucked into whatever was hot in the last mm -hmm. year, and that's always disastrous. If you look at small value stocks versus large growth stocks, like the technology stocks we just mentioned, like Microsoft, historically, the added return is about 4% per year. So it's been a long time. It's been over 10 years since small value actually led compared to large growth stock and tech stocks. So I believe that long term, they have a, a lot of room to go. Uh, and but you got to be smart about it. You have to diversify. We're actually in over 80 different countries with over 20,000 individual uh, co uh, com companies and holdings. Don't fall in love with any one of those stocks. You got to diversify it prudently. Okay. And look, uh, the, the reality is what's you have to be a contrarian investing. Don't right. follow the herd. Set okay. your own pace. Mark, always a pleasure to have you. It's